Gentlemen, welcome to the Coquihalla Summit. We're here on the way to the big shitty. What for? Well, what else do you go to the big shitty for? But buying stuff. A uh, treat in store. It's big. It's heavy. It's iron. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's going to be too happy about this one. Okay, nice to see you. Ah, mint. Uh, I think right over the axle. Okay. We're at the top of the Coquihalla Summit again. 3.4 kilometers per liter. That's like 8 miles to the gallon. Just sipping the fuel. Sips it. But we are dragging a big old anchor. I'm losing light here, so I got no time to dick around. First off, you gotta back off these jack bolts. That's for leveling the machine. They stick into the wood. However, if for some reason it gets stuck on the wood, those jack bolts are coming handy. Hopefully, yeah, maybe not, to lift this thing up so we can put a piece of steel on there and slide it steel on steel. Much lower coefficient of friction. Before anything, you block the wheels. Then you use the combination of the trailer jack and floor jack. Sketchy as frig. In order to get the basal platen of the trailer uh, downward, you get all your strap offs and get some fancy blue rigging here. So we put in some shackles into the redheads. You can see here, that's where the impact crusher lives. Wore the concrete right out. Hopefully by now you can see where I'm going with this. Okay, it was far too heavy to slide on the wood, so we're just jacking it up and then putting some steel flat bar in there. Steel on steel slides nice compared to steel on wood. What was happening is the come along was pulling the whole trailer back. And of course you really got to have your wits about you, especially when you're working alone. So it was pulling the whole trailer back and that was going all daddy wampus on us. It's uh, a bit of a fall there for Humpty Dumpty, so put the kibosh on that and uh, rethought. Now with any luck, that should come. behind schedule here about half an inch an hour but we are accelerating then we got a ramp fabric cobbled just uh, and it's tacked there with that I-beam just to keep her from going too onty wampus on us. This is the, the last little ramp. Once it's on there, it's off the trailer. So it's starting down the ramp pretty good. Looks like the ramp is taking all the weight now. They appear to be off. Oh. 
A mystery to television producers everywhere. Well, a mystery no more. And that is how they built the pyramids. So I'm on days off here. I got two weeks to go through the honey-do list, just knocking them out of the park. Here's the first one. She really wanted me to get this one done. <laughs> that, my friends, is a Mazak horizontal milling machine. Meat. Vertical trotter right in the front words. And yes, that is how I offloaded it. Now I do some of my best work not only one-handed but in the dark. 